Hey, Wealth Wednesdays, new little uh, video shortcuts that we're going to do probably once a week, specifically when there's pertinent information that pop up or some in educational things that also happen. Obviously, today you've heard that uh, the student debt relief was announced by President Biden himself in doing some forgiveness. Whether I don't really care politically which way you feel about it, I'm just giving you the facts of what's coming out um, with as much detail as we have currently. Um, as it goes, first part is that they're going to pause the or continue the loan repayment pause until January of 2023. Technically, December 31st, payments will start again in January. This has been adamant that this is the final extension. So there won't be any more extensions after this. Repayment will start in January, which is good. Our next month or two when we're doing our biannual um uh, biannual meetings with you, we're going to get prepared for the student loans coming into play. Part two uh, is actual debt cancellation. Um, everyone who makes under, individually who makes less than 125000 or household of 250000 will get $10,000 of their federal um, loans relieved. And then if you had a Pell Grant, it'll actually go up to 20000 total. And it's looking like this is only for undergrad. Uh, we haven't seen much on the grad stuff. There's some stuff coming out on that. But for now, we know for sure it's on the undergrad. We'll let you know and update you as uh, this program gets rolled out, um, if it's grad is, or not. But as always, if you're employed by nonprofits, the military, federal, state, tribal, local, blah, 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 you'll be able to still get your loans forgiven fully through the Public Service Loan Forgiveness Program. Um, if that is one of you or have you are new to that, please uh, let us know because there are some changes that are um, taking effect that will expire as of uh, Halloween of this year. So let's make sure we, we speak about that. Again, just more detail, but really it's about if you have more than $20,000 of student loan debt um, and you did get a Pell Grant in college, um, specifically undergrad, then all 20,000 will be forgiven. If you have less than that, it's only maxed at whatever you have have left in regards to that. Um, part three, they're looking at um, being more manageable in terms of repayments. So some things that will change will be paying no more than 5% of your discretionary income monthly on undergrad loans. This is where the undergrad stuff comes into play. We just don't know if it applies to the forgiveness or not yet with these details. Currently, it's 10%, but it, it will be lowered to 5 uh, Also, raising the amount of income that is considered non-discretionary. Again, that'll help protect um, some of those at, uh, income from repayment. Also, guaranteeing that no one under the federal poverty level will have to make payments. Um, and then forgive loan balances after 10 years instead of the current 20 years. Uh, for borrowers with loan, loan balances under uh, 12000 or less. As long as you're making payments, they're said to be for forgiven at that point after you've made 10 years of payments. So we'll see. We'll see how that comes into play. Um, and then for our, our uh, um, also covering the borrower's unpaid monthly interest. So that, unlike the other driven plans, no borrower's loan will grow as long as they're making monthly payments. Ideally, that'd be ideal, right? Um, a lot of the problems with student loans is the fact that you could be paying a minimum and the interest is three times that and you'll never end up catching up. So quick little wealth update on this Wednesday um, coming out about student loans. If there's more things you want to know, we'll obviously do quick little short videos of that. Uh, but also on Wednesdays is when our No BS Wealth podcast releases. So make sure to check that out. Uh, and again, Kids are back at school. We're all having fun getting on back new routines. So uh, take it easy. Have a good night.